Hey, relationship rock stars. Let's talk about loneliness. Very unpleasant emotion that every single one of us has experienced. And there's been a lot of it this year. Well, but we can actually get ourselves out of it if we start to think about it differently. And I wanna talk about that today. Stacey Rockline and I'm here to help you with your relationships so that you can have less conflict and deeper, stronger connections. Loneliness is just sadness about not having friends or company. That's what the definition on Google told me. And that seems about accurate. What we're doing is we are alone and then we are looking at that reality and we're seeing what's missing. We're seeing what's not there. We're seeing the void, the hole, and that's making us sad. And actually all suffering that we cause ourselves is because here's the reality and I don't like it, so then that hurts me. Or here's the reality and I don't think it should be this way, so that hurts me. This is kind of like the way humans do things. We cause our own pain. So you can change these feelings of loneliness with some actions that you can take mindsets. And we're going to talk about those today. So first, let me tell you a story of a very, very lonely time in my life. I had um, moved with my little family from Boulder to Boise. And we, we were moving from my husband's job. And we only had one kid at the time, one member of the Rockline frat house, and he was one year old. I was a, kind of a stay-at-home mom, but I worked from home. I was an online teacher, so I had contact with students and their families, but not really other teachers or other adults. And I didn't know anybody in town, not a soul. And we moved in winter. So in my neighborhood at that time, that meant there was nobody around. I, I literally wondered if we had bought a house in a neighborhood where none of the houses were populated. I didn't see someone walking their dog. I didn't see someone with a stroller. I didn't see kids out. I didn't even see cars coming and going. There was nobody. And I didn't have any friends. I didn't have any of my friends that lived in other towns. I didn't have a play group. I didn't have mommies around me. I was completely alone. And I was feeling really lonely. You know, I was very focused on what was missing. But here's the way you get out of situations like that. One, you do visualization. Now, you don't visualize yourself like with a bunch of people because that's not your reality right now. You visualize yourself in this reality currently alone, but happy, at peace and content. That's what you visualize. Here's the thing, if you can feel that way, when you're alone, you're not gonna feel lonely anymore and you're gonna make healthier choices when it comes to relationships instead of just like fear of being alone and needing to find somebody, anybody and desperation, you start to think like, does that person align with me, right? What's healthy for me? You make better relationship choices when it's perfectly okay if it's just you, if you're just alone. The other thing you're gonna do is you're gonna visualize the steps you need to take to change it. What am I going to need to do? I knew what I needed to do because I couldn't handle the loneliness anymore. I needed to take myself and my one-year-old down to the library, sit in on a story hour, and then be brave enough to make a conversation with a stranger. Brave enough to ask someone if they wanted to meet at a park. Brave enough to ask for a phone number. So you visualize yourself doing those hard things and being okay. You visualize some, someone canceling plans on you and that just being an excuse to watch that movie that you wanted to watch. You visualize yourself handling those hard things better and you visualize yourself being happy, content, and at peace all alone. The second thing that you do is you celebrate. You celebrate what is present, okay? Loneliness is focusing on what is nigh here. It's focusing on there's nobody, there's no people. But there's so many things present that are wonderful, right? There I was. And as soon as I changed my mindset to, oh my God, I have all this time with just my kid. We don't have a schedule. We don't have commitments. 
we have total freedom. I mean, I had some work, but we had total freedom. It was liberating. Stop saying lonely and start saying I'm alone or I'm free, right? I'm alone and free. I can do whatever I want. Celebrate what you do have. What are the great things about this alone time that are present here and are part of the reality so that you're shifting your focus? So those are the two things that you're going to do. You're going to visualize that you're happy, content, and at peace alone. And then you're going to visualize yourself doing those things that you need to do, the hard things to change your circumstance. And then you're going to celebrate no longer using the word lonely, just saying I'm alone and free, looking at all the blessings that are in your life. Because when you can stop feeling lonely, you can start moving. When you feel really lonely, you have a tendency to just go lethargic, to go actionless. And it's important for you to get yourself moving. And you're gonna have to start right here. And these thoughts will affect your emotions. So that's what I've got for you today. Also, I've got a free Facebook group and it's all women and they're all there to talk about relationships. So if you are feeling alone, but want some connections with people who align with you, come join our free group. We would love to welcome you. Okay, I will see you next time.